Welcome to the July 30th, 2020 episode of Blood Podcast, your source for innovative ideas and cutting-edge information. Our topics are based on articles published in Blood, a journal of the American Society of Hematology. Today, we will review a study that demonstrates how the impaired hematopoietic stem cells, or HSCs, observed in beta thalassemia can be rescued by administration of parathyroid hormone. Learn more about genetic variants that can increase the risk of venous thromboembolism. And finally, explore the identification of two DNA methylation subtypes of Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. Our first topic is a study entitled Hematopoietic Stem Cell Function in Beta Thalassemia is Impaired and is Rescued by Targeting the Bone Marrow Niche by Anna Maria April and colleagues from the San Rafael Scientific Institute in Italy. The study demonstrates that hematopoietic stem cells are impaired by beta thalassemia due to defective interaction with the bone marrow microenvironment but can be rescued by administration of parathyroid hormone, or PTH. In steady state conditions, the adult hematopoietic system is maintained by HSCs that reside within the bone marrow in a specialized environment or niche. Although HSCs are quiescent and only occasionally enter cell cycle, they can reversibly enter the cell cycle in response to stress conditions. Thus, HSC self-renewal is maintained not only by cell intrinsic factors, but also by extrinsic elements from the local and systemic environment. In the genetic disorder beta thalassemia, lack of beta globin synthesis results in peripheral hemolysis, anemia, and ineffective erythropoiesis. For a list of additional authors, as well as more detailed articles and commentaries on which this podcast is based, please go to www.bloodjournal.org. Be sure to join us next week for another episode of Blood Podcast. Thank you for listening.